Back here in Washington, though, it was one of the more dramatic days in memory, at least politically, as the president continued a protracted rhetorical assault on his own attorney general, Jeff Sessions. It began before breakfast this morning with this tweet, quote, Attorney General Jeff Sessions has taken a very weak position on Hillary Clinton crimes. Where are emails in DNC server and intel leakers? Well, the attacks continued throughout the day. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal, the president described himself as, quote, very disappointed in his attorney general. He went on to dismiss the importance of Sessions' endorsement last year during the primaries, which was the very first he received from a sitting senator. This afternoon, at a joint news conference with the prime minister of Lebanon, Trump went after Sessions yet again, saying he was upset with the attorney general for recusing himself from the Russia investigation and not doing enough to combat leaks from U.S. intelligence agencies. Watch. I am disappointed in the attorney general. Uh, he should not have recused himself almost immediately after he took office. And if he was going to recuse himself, he should have told me prior to taking office. And I would have quite simply picked somebody else. Uh, so I think that's a bad thing, not for the president, but for the presidency. I think it's unfair to the presidency. Unfair to the presidency. Well, the Russia investigation is certainly that. It's unfair to the country, too. The whole thing is stupid and disingenuous, as we pointed out many times, and it helps nobody but the partisans who are pushing it. So it's easy to understand the frustration the president feels. But publicly attacking Jeff Sessions for all of that, that is nuts. Senior White House staff think so, too. They have asked the president to stop so far without success. Meanwhile, Sessions hasn't said a word. His only public comment has been a press release describing his plans to crack down on sanctuary cities. That's his job. That's the point here. Jeff Sessions is doing what he was hired to do, as he has done since day one. Trump ran on securing the borders. Sessions took him seriously in his work to do that. Trump promised to end Obama's policy of harassing local police departments. Sessions has done that, too. In an administration in which many appointees act like they have no idea what their boss ran on, let's import more refugees, one of them said the other day, to predictable media applause. Jeff Sessions has stayed true to the ideas that got Trump elected. That's why the left hates Jeff Sessions more than any other member of the cabinet. They are rejoicing tonight, and not just because Sessions is suffering and humiliated, but because the Trump coalition seems to be fracturing. The left wants to believe, they tell you this all the time, that Trump got elected because he's famous and voters are dumb. But that's not what happened. Trump got elected because he said true things that everybody else was afraid to say. Namely, the American middle class is in deep trouble and elites in both parties don't care. They're happy to replace hurting Americans with foreign workers who will work for less and not complain. Voters knew in their bones that message was true because it is true. Republicans in Washington absolutely hated hearing that, and they hated Trump for saying it because it implicated them, except for Jeff Sessions. Sessions agreed with that message. That's why he endorsed Trump and left a good job in the Senate to work for him, which is how he got to this weird and ominous moment where the one guy in Washington who actually believes in Trumpism is being forced out of his job by Trump himself. The president should remember that the ideas he ran on are bigger than he is and will remain that way.